When you apply a color profile in the Camera Raw Editor in Photoshop Elements, you can take an image from this to this instantly. Hi, I'm Karen Brockney, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to apply color profiles within the Camera Raw Editor in Photoshop Elements. So what is a profile? In your camera, a profile tells the camera how to apply sharpness, contrast, color, and saturation to a RAW file when it converts it to a JPEG file. In the Camera Raw Editor, there are some of the same profiles that you find within your camera and others that are supplied by Adobe. You can also find third-party vendor profiles too. Think of this profile as a starting point for all of your edits. You can apply a profile before making any other edits to your photo. This video is part of a series on the Camera Raw Editor. If you like this video, please hit like and then subscribe to my channel to see the other videos or learn about other videos coming up in the future. Let's take a look at profiles in the Camera Raw Editor. From the File menu, I'm choosing Open in Camera Raw so that I can open a Camera Raw file and a JPEG file into the Camera Raw Editor. You can press Ctrl and click to choose multiple images to open in the editor. Click Open and notice the images are in the film strip to the left. The Camera Raw Editor may not appear in full screen and if you want to view it full screen, press F to view it full screen. The first image we're looking at is the Painted Lady Row House in San Francisco. We use this image as the example at the beginning of this video. On the right hand side in the basic panel you'll notice a profile drop down. If I click the drop down list I will see profiles from Adobe, Adobe Color, Landscape, Standard and Vivid. I will see profiles that match the profiles in my particular camera, Camera Landscape and Camera Standard. And there may be other profiles that appear on this list these will be profiles that you applied most recently. You'll also see Adobe Mon Monochrome and Black and White as other profile choices. If you want to see all of the profiles, you can click Browse or click the Browse icon next to the drop-down list. In the Profile Browser, at the top, you can choose to view all of the profiles, just the color profiles, just the black and white profiles, We'll choose All. You can choose to view the profiles as a grid or as a list. And let's choose Grid. All of the profiles are organized in folders. To open a folder, click the arrow next to the folder name and click it again to close it. At the top of the list are your favorites. You can choose to select favorites from any of the profiles in this profile browser. The Adobe RAW profiles are supplied by Adobe and Adobe Color is the default profile that's applied to any camera RAW files that you open in the editor. Other profiles apply to different types of images that you have. For example, Adobe Landscape makes the skies bluer and the greens darker. Adobe Neutral takes away some of the color to make your image neutral as a base. Adobe Portrait is very good on skin tones. Adobe Vivid makes the colors very vivid. Notice as I move my cursor over the thumbnails you see the effect of each profile on the screen. The camera matching profiles will be different for each camera. The profiles here are supplied by Adobe to match the profiles that are within your own camera. Other profiles in this section below here are creative profiles supplied by Adobe. Artistic, black and white, modern, and vintage. Let's just take a look at the artistic. These profiles really affect the colors in your image. Creative profiles are very powerful. These profiles can contain color lookup tables or LUTs like you find in Photoshop or many video editing programs to color grade your video 
or to add special color looks to your photos. You can also purchase profiles from third-party vendors. In my Camera Raw editor, I have installed profiles from Matt Kloskowski, from Serge Ramelli, Photo Surge, and some other third-party vendors. For this file, I've used a profile from Matt Kloskowski that came in the Portrait and Wedding series. The profile that I used for this image was the teal orange one. And notice that it is a favorite. To make a profile favorite, you can click the star in the upper right corner of the profile. If the star is white in its center, it's not favorite. If you click it, it turns black to indicate that it's a favorite. And to apply it, just double click it and the profile is applied. Underneath the profile drop down, this profile has an amount slider. I can decrease the effect of that profile on this image by moving the slider to the left or increase it by moving it to the right. I'm going to decrease it just a little bit. Applying a profile doesn't affect any of the other sliders in the basic panel. After you apply the profile, you can do anything within this panel to adjust the image. I'm just going to click Auto to see what the auto effect would be. I don't like the exposure, so I'm going to drop that down a little bit. I'm going to increase the clarity a little bit. And let's increase the contrast a little bit to bring the image closer to the vision I have for it creatively. One note about JPEG files and using profiles. I've opened a JPEG image to show you what happens in the profile browser. If you look over at the profile browser, you'll notice that you have your favorites, but you no longer have Adobe profiles or camera matching profiles. That's because when the JPEG file was created, it was created in your camera using one of the profiles that came with your camera. So those profiles are no longer available to you. They're only for Camera Raw files. However, you can apply a couple of basic profiles, either color or monochrome, and you can apply all of the artistic profiles and third-party profiles that you've added to the Camera Raw editor to this file. Profiles are very powerful. You can apply a profile at the beginning of your editing process, like we did, or you can do all of your basic edits and then apply it at the end. The basic profiles, for example, like Adobe Color, Landscape, Standard, and Vivid, and your camera profiles are great starting points. The creative profiles, such as the ones in Artistic, Black and White, Modern, and Vintage, can be added at the end of your editing process to give your photos a distinctive look and feel. If you want to know how to find more profiles and install them, check out the description below. I've put a link to an article on my website. And if you liked this video, please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and watch for more videos in the future.